गुड इवनिंग ऑल डॉक्टर के प्रकाशन प्रिंसिपल पी एस जी कॉलेज ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी रिस्पेक्टेड एच ओ डी डिस्टिंग्विश डीज फैकल्टी मेम्बर्स पेरेंट्स गेस्ट एंड द ग्रेजुएटिंग स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इट इज अ ग्रेट ओकेजन एंड अ वेरी रेयर प्रिविलेज एंड एन ऑनर फॉर मी टू बी प्रजेंट ऑन दिस occasion as a part of your team and share few thoughts on this celebration day i thank uh, dr k prakarshan and the college management for giving me this opportunity let me first start congratulating all the students who are graduating today as a part of 2022 batch and all the award and prize winners you are also very special batch as most of the period or half of your period you people have spent during the pandemic and still succeeded in cracking the the graduation so congratulations to all of you you had many adversities various challenges in the you you all adopted to different circumstances because when you started your graduation in uh, uh, 2018 or 17 for uh, four year and five year programs at that time no one was imagined that there is going to be a pan pandemic and the whole world is going to change towards the digital way of learning and and you guys adopted so quickly also the the faculties and the the management and throughout the india the institutes to a different way of learning and teaching so a big round of applause to all of you it is also very fascinating to listen to all the achievements uh, which psg did from dr uh, prakashan and and definitely definitely the institute stands in a in a different uh, orbit altogether when we look at other institutes uh, in the state and outside today i got a opportunity to visit uh, most of your labs and departments and interacted with uh, some of the faculty members and the research students and and definitely this brings in me the confidence that this is one of the best institute which you people have got an opportunity to study <laughs> this statement you will you may not realize now but down the line after 10 years 20 years 30 years you will definitely get connected to psg and at that time you will admire that how they shaped your career for the long run so now coming back to my address so i thought uh, since uh, uh, this is a electrical and uh, aided uh, courses uh, uh, ceremony graduation ceremony let me talk uh, on few topics related to digital so basically we are in the digital world and nobody can deny or ignore or or avoid the digital world and and we are all connected so let me take uh, why we have to adopt digital and how we have to take benefit out of that and to take that benefit as a student graduating community how you guys need to shape into a kind of a innovative mode or a sustenance mode or a, or a different approach and make your career a successful one so as as already the covid has compressed all our way of thinking into a kind of a two year package in last the during the covid pandemic start of covid pandemic to the current state of endemic if we consider that as 18 months to 24 months whatever earlier we used to do for 8 years 10 years or 5 years has everything got compressed into a two years so it means it has created a space within us like if we have a 24 hours a day 
and and we used to do some some reading for 12 hours actually that that space has gone to a kind of a 3 hours or 4 hours and and we got a extra space to absorb knowledge or new things in the remaining period so so keep, keep keeping that momentum of what what this digital transformation has given as a part of the covid you now we need to take that and and, and if I word it uh, in a way, it was like a walk, run, and fly. And and during this COVID period, and currently we just walk and run. But I think you guys need to fly now and uh, take advantage of the, uh, the the future things coming up. So why why I am talking about digital, right? Digital world and digital technology. Uh, Earlier, when we used to do the product development, or currently also we are doing product development, but it typical cycle of a bringing a new vehicle into a market is about four years. And and if you see Mahindra and Mahindra story, last two years we launched four blockbuster products. And and that we did during the pandemic period. Okay, and how could we do that during the pandemic period? So what is that converted, right? We used to run a lot of vehicles physically built and run them on the road and then test them and test them and then come up with uh, modifications and then finally certify that this is worth of deploying on the road after the certification. But because of the pandemic period, we just did the reverse engineering. We could start back tracing the data, right? So the vehicles comes up with lot of chips nowadays, lot of sensors, and then connect that sensors to take the data back into the system and evaluate, run your algorithms of AI, ML, and see that how you can cut short on the on the uh, the any quality issues or something. Just to give an example, when we develop a vehicle, we have to run them in different terrains. For example, some vehicles will run, run thousands of kilometers in desert. Some will run in snow hilly areas, or some will run in Uti and Kodai Canal, some will run in salt, the beach side salt, because that will create some rust kind of things. And after running thousands of thousands of kilometers, then only we used to be able to analyze and how to change your material, how to fine tune your engine, many other aspects will come in. But because of the digital, uh, we connected back and, and get into the, uh, the data into the a faster pace and, and make sure that you you launch the vehicles fast. And now 5G is coming up and so many more exciting things are on the car. The other aspect is the farmers. Our uh, the agriculture is one of the main um, uh, source of income for the Indian GDP. Earlier, uh, uh, farmers or the, the agriculture revenue used to be 70% of the total uh, GDP, but now so much of a technical technology enhancements and other sectors have taken over, even though still they contribute to 30 to 35% of the GDP. But the government aim is to improve the farmers' income. Okay, they want to double the farmers' income. That is one of the initiative. And now look at what is happening in their areas, right? All, all farmers are nowadays having one or two smartphones and they are having on their fingertips, they can see that what kind of a commodity price fluctuation is happening and in which, uh, which market they should go and sell their products. So that is a, on the commodity, the indicators are coming up. But, but from you as a graduating communities, how you should look at this opportunity? how to introduce the uh, smart farming facilities, right? So, so this is where you can start thinking of, one is like predicting the, uh, the rain forecast or weather forecast or, or using your computer vision and uh, visioning capabilities. Uh, are there anything wrong going on with the crops? Is the, uh, uh, is the irrigation sprinklers need to be uh, switched on six weeks before or one week before kind of a scientific thinking you can do it. So like that um, and, and also Indian farmers are having a small kind of a farmlands. 
So think of geofencing the farmlands and, and enable them with the IoT and other kind of a solution so that farmers take advantage of that um, uh, and their productive uh, uh, the yield uh, improve, improvement in their yields. As you are all aware, um, already a lot of two-wheelers uh, in the EV market have hit, hit Indian market and, and uh, very exciting days for the three-wheelers and four-wheelers are also on the line. So now, so I, all these years I see engines and which is basically physics and mathematics but now the chemistry is coming into picture because you are going to have battery cells and, and physics, chemistry and, and mathematics how the new uh, new things are going to come up and how, how quickly you can design your product and launch your product. Because because whole concept of uh, the, the, the general product development and the EV product development is entirely different and, and this is one space where we as industry people are also relearning ourselves. So, we are unlearning what we did in IC, time, IC engines and what we are trying to re relearn. And to do that relearning, a lot of collaboration is going to happen. And, and uh, regarding the education front, the, uh, digital in education, you people have already faced that one and you, you are very much aware that how digital is playing an important role. So now, um, with that basically, and also uh, in coming years, uh, level one, level two kind of autonomous vehicles will also come in and, and, and they are also going to generate a lot of data. And, and how to use that data and make sensible decisions is, is another aspect. On the biomedical side, um, uh, till now we never used to have a doctor consultancy over the, um, over the phone or the video calls. And, and during the COVID pandemic, and most of the doctors are were consulting through the uh, the video conferencing, and, and also the medicines are getting delivered to home uh, through the different channels. So, so digital from end to end, whether it is a, a education sector or a finance sector or an automotive sector or an energy sector, you take any sector. Digital is playing an important role, and and it is basically the data, which is which is a kind of an oil for next 20 to 30 years. So now, how, so this is, in this context, now how are we going to use this digital technologies and what is that industry is looking at, right? Industry is maturing okay, and some, some are early adopters and they, they have already taken the lead of using the data and some are the followers. But followers can also take over the lead in coming days uh, I, I, if they start adopting the, the kind of a digital transformations which industry and uh, market is looking at. Just to give um, how we took advantage of uh, digital is uh, even this is a pre-COVID pre period, India was supposed to go from BS4 to BS6 directly from the emission norms are concerned. And um, already Europeans were on the Euro 6 and, and all the global com companies had the technologies and required uh, engines and power trains to meet the, uh, the combustion uh, the regulatory requirements. But for e India or the Indian OEMs, it was a challenge because we have to just, we have to directly jump from BS4 to BS6 and the time period was about 24 months. And during that 24 months, you have to have your new power train or a new engine. And then you have to run the engine and validate that engine for the, the emission norms. And then you have to fit that engine into a vehicle and then you have to run thousands of kilometers and then you have to get it certified. So this is where the digital, we took the advantage of digital and we could, in a, in a, uh, in a frugal manner, we could meet our requirements. So, so that is one example. Because why that is important is you have to make sure that you get into the market in a much faster way and, and at the same time you have to go with the right quality. Because if you go with the wrong quality, then market is going to reject you. 
so uh, the other aspect why industry looks at uh, uh, digital uh, transformation as a part of their business growth strategy is one is the revenue share they need to increase second thing is they need to maintain the quality the third thing is the cost optimization we cannot offer or any industry cannot offer excess cost right so how are we going to optimize your cost and still you manage the show so so that is where basically comes is the using the the latest technologies uh, whether it is a uh, analytics are concerned or it is uh, advanced analytics or the new generation tools to come up with a uh, uh, predictive uh, analytics many things will be there and and there are hundreds of use cases not hundreds actually thousands of use cases in every enge engineering domain and uh, in in every sector and you as a graduating students you should look at what are those opportunities and which you should look at pursuing so um, the other aspect comes is in in vehicles compared to the earlier days software and hardware are playing a very important role and and what we are traditionally tuned is, tuned is to test the uh, mechanical way of testing the vehicles and running the vehicles but you are going to have two two different animals in the car or the vehicle which is basically softwares and the hardwares and how are you going to integrate those things in the end what, what the hardware and software is going to do it is basically going to sense it then it will send it to some logic and based on that logic some action is going to happen but that is one sensor story like that you, in the vehicle you are going to have hundreds of sensors and when you are running your vehicle on the road that is vehicle to vehicle it's a it's a infinity kind of a combination and how are you going to address those kind of a scenarios so that is where the the image processing 5g technologies and many other things are are playing edge computing cloud computing faster decision making things uh, All, all these are coming up so so that is another exciting area where industry is looking at uh, coming up with the uh, the new new things so um, on the other hand how are you can also optimize on your productions using the different uh, process simulations plant simulation techniques and anticipate that already i have a plant which is having which is manufacturing couple of products but how can i introduce another two more products in a optimized way and cut short on my putting a new plant and optimizing my cost so uh, so that is another way of looking at cost optimization the third aspect is you are managing your uh, supply chains and uh, and the market demand so that is also where the uh, earlier what used to happen is only their company or their industry data used to be available in the market or in the uh, the free portals that okay with respect to automotive this is happening with respect to paint this is happening with respect to energy or electric energies this is happening and all but 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 since the 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 down the line connected tier 1 tier 2 um, um, uh, bases are not so tightly integrated but now now because of the kind of a cloud based solutions and consulting firms uh, 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 cons consulting firms um, advises you can actually trace back and bring a better effective supply chain and uh, operations so uh, so like that uh, many use cases uh, broader use cases industry is looking at and that is where the digital our digital is going to play a very important role now the question comes okay all this lecture is fine but how i i you as a individual need to be innovative and manage these situations because because in the end you guys need to participate uh, already i think most of you have joined the companies and uh, some are about to join and some may go to the post graduations uh, in the days but 
but as engineering colleges when we reach our 6th semester 7th semester what they teach right they teach us couple of things one is like they put us into internships or they put us into different projects and why that is done right so that is the that is the way to take out the mindset of you being a individualistic person into a team player and that is why they put you into a kind of a small group activities and 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 this small group activity is a lifelong activity okay it is not never going to end so so you have to to be a innovative there, there are couple of lines which i will tell you but first thing is you people need to have the right mindset and 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 to tune that right mindset it is your responsibility which you need to practice and then only it will come up because most of us and especially the engineering graduates we are all left side brain grinds we are more analytics we look at formulas we look at the way and we say that okay this is how it is and the engineering and analytics data is showing predicting like this so it is going to be like this but to be innovative that is not going to work okay so what we have to do we have to start using the whole brain and to make that whole brain work we have to learn to switch off the left brain and start activating our creative brain which is the right side and 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 first thing to do that is when somebody suggests something we are in a kind of a rejection mode that that is not going to work so we have to switch off that and start collecting those ideas and put them into a pool so that the divergent ideas will come into the picture and once you have the divergent ideas then start funneling and narrow, narrowing them the, into a A, a convergent view and convergent view when you are doing a convergent you have to put the external constraints because all ideas cannot be innovative ideas and you have to work with constraints and just to give the example within uh, the, uh, in, during the covid period within 8 months vaccines came out and while the vaccine came out there was a portal i in portal covid portal and also it managed the huge whole india's database of vaccination right these are the ideas which which turned into a kind of innovative ideas so same thing in your business or the sector wherever you guys are working create the small groups and start activating those those ideas and try to funnel them so, uh, so to to be innovative as a individual uh, two two three things one is switch off your logical brain while coming up with innovative ideas put them into a excel or a notepad but put them in somewhere so that somebody can also see them put all possible ideas in the table so that others can discuss on that and share their views on that one okay and make sure that your ideas work with the constraints so during your career or professional journey individual uh, another very important thing is individual behavior is going to play very important role and how is that individual behavior because because college has taught you all the technical skills required and on top of that a delta of functional skills okay but the industry is going to observe you for your behavioral skills and it is not shown over the day or two but over the months and years the behavior comes into picture so be collaborative be bold and be agile so abc agile bold and collaborative and what is agility i don't have to explain because you people know agile methodologies but but from the behavior perspective if somebody gives a idea or something is not working accept the the failure and look at the different ideas on the boldness we are usually shy to express our ideas but please take the opportunities to make sure that whatever you are highlighting or telling gets registered and 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 that is what is the boldness and 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 after 3 4 times of practicing that that automatically becomes a 
part of your routine behavior. And the third one is collaborative, and uh, that's why I told about your internships and projects, uh, all those things. So, so no, nothing uh, much to say on that one. So, but these ABCs are going to play very important things. On top of that, one thing is ethical behavior, okay? Because during our professional journey, because your professional journey is going to be very long, there will be sometimes you may face a crossroad of taking a shortcut, but stand that point and decide that is this the the right direction to go or you should take the longer path and those decisions only you can take and only you can you can accomplish that one so the character shapes the the personality so ensure that the ethical behavior should not become a hindrance over the period of time And, and a very uh, important point uh, from the uh, Indian uh, engineering uh, community perspective, we are also very shy in patenting our IPs. Okay, please make sure that wherever, wherever or in whichever institute or a, or a company you are working, there, there is always a knowledge management cell or an IP cell and make sure that whatever your ideas, they get registered there. And they, there will be a process and if it gets qualified for an Indian patent, that is a very good thing. If not, at least company will recognize you. So, please inculcate the culture of patenting or at least putting your ideas to the table. So, with that, I would like to conclude my uh, by congratulating all of you once again and wishing you a very best. I enjoy the journey as it is going to be a long journey. Thank you very much for listening.